So my first time out there, I finally ticked it off my bucket list. This really is. This is like no other event. No, and I think it's um, it's special in many ways. It's very raw. Uh, it's a whole natural thing. It's a living thing. It's changing all the time. What these bikers do is just incredible, really, to get to be part of it and just drive a car around. For me, it's fantastic. Do you? I'm looking at it on television. I've always thought they have got the screws. You're going around in a car. Do you think the same thing when you're going around that course? It sounds slightly rude to say yeah. screws. I mean, they are. But it, it does take a special kind of mentality to I mean, drive around. It's such a, a, a wild course, isn't it? Yeah, what they do on the bikes is, for me, incredible. I'm a massive fan of the bikes. Yeah. Um, the speeds they're doing 200 miles an hour with no protection. Yeah. You know, I've, I've got a car with a roll cage around me and I'm doing one lap. They're going out there and doing that for six laps at a time uh, when they do the big races. So it, it's an incredible thing. I think it's one of the most amazing things in the world of motorsport. Yeah. And once you've actually seen the course like we did, you, you just see it from a different perspective. Uh, we talked earlier about Donington, how you can't really see the, the elevation on TV. You go down Bray Hill, it's like dropping off the end of the world, and you, you're going down there at 180 miles per hour. Even in the car, we're doing 175. Is that what we were doing? Not today, no. no. <laughs> I was last year. Felt like it was time. Oh, is that when you did your lap record? Yeah, when we, did, when we did a lap, yeah. yeah. That yeah. must be something else. Yeah, I, it's very special, I think, because I'm Manx born. Yeah. It's a privilege to have the course closed off for, you know, it's 37 and three quarter miles. It's all closed off for one car. And uh, when you just start that, there's no, it's man and machine against the elements, which it is. And it's more like a rally than what it is a race for Yeah. Learning the road, I'm, I'm the most experienced four wheeled person around it, and I've only had eight competitive months. So I'm learning every single time, and it's a, it's a great job. Yeah. What's it like doing these passengers? Yeah, it's great. I mean, uh, for me, it just keeps your eye on you. You can drive around the course to the blue of the place, yeah. but you don't appreciate the line, you can't use all the road. Uh, so to, again, to have the spectators there, uh, uh, give people the experience of the TT course in a closed environment, it's pretty cool. I'm amazed that they were not amazed, but like you, can, you can tell, it's like when you're rallying, you can tell the areas or the sections of the circuit where the interesting stuff is, because yep. suddenly you've got back to the sitting there, and I was thinking, okay, well, I'm thinking, okay, what's, what's coming up now, because there's a load of people watching it, and there's partly that down to accessibility, I suppose, the areas you can get to. Yeah, but people will find ways to get there, and they'll lock themselves into the day, yeah. and, you know, there's a lot of... Well, they have to, I guess. Well, yeah, they, they, they do, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a big thing, once you're in there, you're into the day. Um, and now the TV coverage is so good of the TT, it's made it a lot more accessible. People from all over the world are coming here, I can say to take off their bucket list. And I love the fact that walking around the paddocks, I mean, I've not been to, I don't know, there is a, it, there's a very kind of homely, the fact that, you know, you've got people, you've got, on one side you've got the caravan that yep. they're clearly staying in overnight, right next door to that, you've got the awning with, and there's a real family feeling out there, and it's like there's washing on the line, and dogs outside, and it's, it's like a village. I mean, you've experienced rally, and I think the bike world is very similar to the yeah. rally world. And it's a big family, and everybody will help each other. Uh, we had some problems last year, and they all rush to help, and every biker will help the other biker. It, it definitely is a big community. And they travel around to do the different events as well. And you've got the Northwest and all the road racing events. And these are proper men. I mean, you don't get up there. And, uh, and women. And women, of course, yes. You don't get up there and think about it. Okay, I'm going to go the bottom of the garrow is really cool, yeah. I like the compression you went through. That's, uh, yeah, it really <laughs> was at the bottom. The top of that hill is good. Yeah. Um, and then you can even get up onto the mountain. But there's some sort of amazing place, I think, to experience the speed. And what's weird is you get used to watching bikes go massive 200 miles an hour too quickly. Yeah. You know, the first time is wow. And then you sort of get used to it. And I think that's what happens to the bikers. Once they've done their first time, they get more into the rhythm of it. And the speed becomes a lot more normal. And it has to because the first time everything can work. Bit like it is now after being that background. Yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much, darling. All right, thank you.